everybody from the beautiful northern Catskill Mountains. Good morning, everybody. One of the real downsides to snowshoeing into camp is supplies. I brought a gallon of water and two small bottles and I've gone through them already. I've only got a little bit left in the gallon. There's plenty of water all around us, but there's a lot of impurities in it. It's the snow. I have to melt a whole bunch of snow and then set up my water filtration kit to filter it. So it'll be melted to a boil, then I'll put it in my filter, run it through, and I'll show you how that all works. Stay tuned. Okay. The first step in the process is obviously collecting a pot full of snow. This is going to go on the stove behind me until it is uh, melted down. I'm going to add more snow to it because this is only going to give me about a quarter of the pot. Here's some evidence of what's in the snow. Pine needles, little bits of bark, little bits of God knows what. So we're going to boil this and we're going to put it through my water filtration kit. Okay, to the stove. When that melts a little bit, I'm going to put another big handful of snow into the water to keep it, you know, I want to get a full pot of water out of that. My filtration kit will do four liters, so if I can get that pot full twice, that should be enough to boil, filter, and then still have some water left over to fill the some more later and to do some cleaning. I've got dishes to wash as well, so we need a lot of water. Probably going to do two or three pots full, so I sort of keep the stove busy. Okay, it's been about five or ten minutes, and as you can see, it's gone down about halfway. There's still a big hunk of snow in there. I'm going to go get myself a fistful of snow and bring it in here. Little bits of leaf and grass. Okay, we'll be back. Get in there. One more piece. Let her fill her up. Okay, this is my MSR water filtration system. I last had this in use on top of Panther Mountain, filtering water at Giant Ledge. It starts with a water collection bag. That is four liters. Good size bag, it's good for a day, yeah, a gallon a day, about right. And into the bag goes the filter. And the arrow indicates the direction the water flows. And it all comes down to this end, which screws onto a Nelgene water bottle. Like that. Just waiting for our water to boil now. We've melted about a gallon of water on the stove top. We're going to filter out any particulates and any other garbage that might be in there. Call me paranoid. I boil and filter. Okay, so we've got the water filtration set up right here. This is the collection bag. This will hold four liters. We've got a gallon of water on the stove top boiling. Once it cools off, it's going to go into the water collection bag through the filter down into the water collection bottles on the floor. It's just an LG. Carry about a liter. Okay. After making water to do the dishes, I put on another batch of snow. I got this to a full boil. I'm going to give it 10 minutes at a boil just to make sure everything is dead. Right. And then I'm going to take it, put it out in the snow, and let it cool down to room temperature so we can filter it. The 
excuse me. Still a bit hot, but it'll cool up coming up in here. The water has cooled plenty for me to start feeding water in. Now normally you use this in a stream or by a spring and you kind of fill it up like that. But in this case, we're going to use a camp pot. What's nice is a lot of the debris and stuff has settled to the bottom of the pot. So by scooping from the top, I'm not even picking up a lot of the debris. Precious water, you don't want to drop this. position myself. Okay, that should work. Leave the very last bit. Uh, once, twice, three times. Bring these two together. And there is your water to be filtered. And what did we wind up with? About three liters, a little more than three liters. full. That's about a liter of water. I'll fill up a pot for tea. That's off and running. And now I pour filtered and boiled drinking water into my gallon water receptacle. Don't spill it, don't spill it. That's water filtration. And I suppose I could fit that right in there. And let it rip. Just fill up the gallon. I don't often carry a gallon bottle on the trail. Usually it's one of these. I'll bring one full to drink on day one, and you gotta find water. You filter it, you boil it, do whatever you can, but that's nice and clean and clear. Drinking water. Okay. We got some chopped meat and we got some cheese, roughly in half. Kind of push it down into the bottom burger. Put the top, any pieces that fall, just pop them in the middle. And down they go. It's going to be a beauty of a burger. In the meantime, I've been sauteing some onions and red peppers in the non-stick pan. Supporting after. They'll be back soon. All right, this burger has a date with a campfire outside.
I had to take the first bite. It looks so good. Nice and crunchy. Okay, next task is to clean out the fire pit and let's prepare a fire for this evening's meal. First I'll get that tidied up. Okay, that's all cleaned out now. Uh, before I make the fire, I have another chore to do. We've been burning kerosene all night, last night, so I need to fill up the tank. It's almost empty. siphon pump. This is K1 kerosene. Easier with two hands. Okay. Get all the snow off of it, and it's ready to be put in to the kerosene heater. And then I can get back to making a fire for dinner tonight. Okay, I just want to raise everything up off the floor. It's wet. Make it easy to start. I just wiped down my, my kerosene can. So I got a little bit of kerosene on those paper towels. That just should help us out here. Why waste? Alright, why waste? Okay, I'm going to break up some of these sticks and get this loaded up. I'll come back when I flick the match. We are full of some small sticks. I didn't break up kindling or make shavings or anything. And that usually does the job. I've got some uh, some ground beef and some cheese. And we're gonna make uh, cheeseburgers. I've got some nice vegetables. I've got peppers and onions. We have whipped something up special tonight. Do it all on the fire tonight. Okay. I'm gonna go get my chair. Make myself comfortable. Try to dry off the old boots a little bit. So we get a nice little fire started. Fair amount of wood. This is gonna be my dinner cooking. We have to pack up everything and be ready to leave first light tomorrow. I want to get on the road early. Need to make a few stops on the way out. The wind has picked up. I've been processing firewood. Maybe halfway through the pile. I've got a nice ash pile already. Once you get this thing going, it doesn't burn too much. It's all enclosed. 
get a couple of these big logs on, it'll be good. Okay, oven's up to 450. Pan's heating up. A new garbage bag. Okay, the pan's heating up for the burgers. The sausage and peppers, I mean sausage and peppers, the peppers and onions are looking good. Mmm, delicious. Cornbread is done. And that's about to go on the, the frying pan out on the campfire. Frying pan. Fire's catching up. cook until it's done. I would say about 15 minutes on each side maybe. It's pretty thick. This fire is not that hot. I'm going to work on it a little while. I'll bring you right back. To balance. You don't want a giant raging fire. You want something that's just throwing good heat. That's just about where we are. Okay, we'll let that cook. Hey, that big old cheeseburger is cooking away. I think it's ready for a quick flip. It's definitely looking done. I'll leave it in here to stay warm until I get the french fries out, which are in the airstream right now in the oven. And I've got uh, peppers and onions on the stove in the non-stick skillet. Be a nice dinner along with some cornbread too. Okay, let's take this baby off the fire. Sounds good. Woo. That's a double cheeseburger with cornbread and fries with peppers and onions on top. That's a fine meal fit for a king. I'm gonna sit right here and eat it. Guess we're gonna just slice this right in half. It looks good. It's got the cheese in the middle, both sides. Some beautiful peppers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is so good. We need some ketchup. Well, thanks everybody. I'm gonna sit down and have my supper. I'm gonna get that fire stoked up again so we can sit in front of the fire for a while tonight. I got some big logs going in there now. The fire's doing really well. Finished up supper. I'm stuffed. It was delicious. 
just sitting by the fire now, listening to the wind howling out of the north. We may get some more snow tonight. It kind of has that look. You know, just the last few minutes up behind me up here, looking grayer. Clouds are getting thicker and the wind is picking up out of the northwest. That usually means snow up here, so. Hold on everybody, here we go again. Thank you everybody for coming along on this trip, keeping me company in front of the fireplace and the snow. Having a beautiful time up here in the great northern Catskills. Okay, <clears throat> breakfast has been done. There are dishes to be done, but they'll wait. Let's see what it looks like outside. Well, it's sunny out. There is the 20 foot Airstream Globetrotter, 1968. It's been here for about five years now. This is a little shed. It's uh, based on a, a 10 foot square shed. And I just built little storage wings off the side. It helps to shed rainwater in the summer and it holds the snow load really well. Yeah, we got a good load of snow. Good 12, 16 inches. The sun peeking through the trees. It's pretty beautiful. When it's all covered in snow like this, it's, it's, I don't know how to describe it to you. It's, it's awesome. Time to head home. We're all packed up. Cold and icy outside. Perfect snowshoeing weather. Let's go. Okay, we're all locked up. Good morning, everybody. We're headed home. First light, no breakfast, just a quick cup of tea, packed up my gear, and we are on the road. Okay, he had another frequent break. That's where we just traveled. All right, we are just about to the top of the hill. It's a good hike. I took a lot of breaks. I didn't sweat too bad. It's pretty cold out here. I don't think it's much more than 30 degrees right now. It's getting colder. We'll be right back. I get myself cleaned up and packed up. And we got a bit of a drive. Good shoes. Very good shoes. Time that took. Let's see, I've got about 25 minutes of video. Now I shut you off once for a few minutes. We'll call it a half an hour walk. Thanks everybody. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment on your way out.